Hi there. Today we're going to look at some of the inner workings of the male anatomy, specifically male ejaculation, how it happens, and some of the things that can go wrong. Ejaculation probably seems like a pretty simple thing to the average guy. I mean, teenagers do it expertly multiple times per day. Actually, though, it's a fairly complex process that only really gets investigated when problems like ED pop up. Every man should know the inner workings of what needs to happen and what then occurs when he climaxes to have a better knowledge of himself and his health. Male ejaculation happens as a result of a series of steps involving multiple parts of the body, not just the penis, all working together. Let's break down what happens from soup to nuts when a man gets that special feeling and he wants to get it on. Step number one, arousal. Whether he's walking down the street, at dinner with a date, or just home alone, the whole process begins at arousal. The man hears, sees, or feels something that gets Barry White to start singing in his brain, and then the brain sends a sexy telegram down the spinal cord to the sex organs, which then fill with blood, causing an erection. The scrotum pulls in towards the body as tension in the general area intensifies, which is why some men say they feel their heartbeat in their penis when they get hard. Here's a fun fact for you. In the process of getting an erection, blood goes up to 50 times faster than its normal speed to spring a man's member to life. Go, speed racer, go. Now all this action is fueled by testosterone, a hormone responsible for your sex drive, and is produced in the testicles. While we're visiting the testicles, let's remember that's where millions of sperm are made each day. And once they mature, they mingle with white protein-rich fluids, which keep them safe and healthy until ejaculation. This is commonly known as semen. Step 2. Plateau. This is the stage where a man prepares to climax, and it can last up to two minutes. Muscle tension in the genitals increases even more, and spontaneous body movements, predominantly in the pelvis, begin to take over. A man's heart rate also surges to 150 to 175 beats per minute. Pre-cum, a clear fluid may also make an appearance on the head of the penis. This not only signifies that arousal is high and climax is nearing, but biologically changes the pH balance of the urethra to improve sperm survival. This stage is commonly identified by phrases like don't stop and praise to a higher universal being. Step 3. Orgasm. There are two parts to orgasm. The first is emission and the second is ejaculation. In emission, a man reaches what can only be known as ejaculatory inevitability and known colloquially as the point of no return. Semen has made its way up the urethra and is ready to meet the world. Ejaculation happens in a series of tense contractions in both the penile muscles and at the base of the anus. It's like Elvis has entered your body, or more appropriately, your pelvis, for a short visit. Involuntary thrusting is also known to happen at this stage. At the end of this, the nerves in the penis send a love note back to the brain telling it to feel pleasure. Step 4. Resolution and Refraction Now that the confetti has been thrown, the party starts to die down. The penis empties the blood and the erection retreats. Tension fades, which causes many men to feel sleepy or, at a minimum, a little drowsy and looking for a nap. Sometimes a sandwich. After resolution, men enter a period of time called the refractory period, in which the penis calms and cannot be roused for a second round for a bit. The refractory period can last a few minutes to nearly an entire day, depending on age and health. Here's another fun fact for you. Women can experience multiple orgasms and still stay aroused. They don't have a refractory period. That's something to consider when preparing for amore. So, that's ejaculation. There's a lot more than just arousal and orgasm. Don't you feel empowered with all this knowledge?
Well, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.